Make sure to use our code FLIPSIDE to get a two-week subscription to the Key Collector app. Welcome to the Prospect 10, where we bring you five additional books that it's not seen on the Key Collector app. So let's go ahead and get this party started. All right, at number 15, we have X23, number two, the one in 25 incentive variant by Raza. Uh, this is uh, this is done by Raza, as Aaron said, um, you know, one of the one of the hotter um, artists in the game currently. Uh, X23 spec is kind of sleeping at the moment. Um, when, when, when her spec picks back up, um, these ratio variants of hers are going to really take off. And we think this book has a lot of upside potential. At number 14, we have Amazing Spider-Man, number 194. All right. So this is the first appearance of Black Cat. You know, this is a more expensive book than we have um, on the list often. But uh, in my opinion, Black Cat is one of the uh, uh, A-list uh, Marvel heroes. And I really think that this book is underpriced to where it could be. Um, longer term. Uh, it's not a cheap book by any means, but I think given the explosion of prices that we've seen from major Marvel characters, uh, this one has a lot of upside. If and when we see Black Cat come, uh, find her way into the MCU, um, that will likely be the catalyst to put this book out of reach for most people. Uh, right now, it's right on the edge and uh, in something worth grabbing if you're willing to drop a few hundred dollars, but uh, um, a really important Marvel character. At number 13, we have Goblin Gook, number one from the second series. This is a undervalued Mirage anthology book, previously unpublished. It has uh, early TMNT stories in it and art in addition to other Eastman and Lair treats, other unpublished work, and hard to get a high grade due to the size. For some reason, this one has always been overlooked. Other editions include a new version of Coburn's story from TMNT number seven and the first collaboration between the TMNT creators set in a post-apocalyptic world. For our number 12 book, we have A-Force number eight, the Raza variant. This is another uh, awesome Raza cover. It's a, uh, so it, it's just a cool Raza cover. It's got Shuri. I don't know who she's reaching out to. That could be T'Challa that she's reaching out to to grab his hand his art is so unique. I mean, you see the, the light shining like she's underground somewhere. I mean, it's just such an impactful piece. I, I think this is a, uh, just a cover, a cover, a cover by, but it's, it's a, such a unique Shuri cover. I've never seen anything come close to that. And it was for black Panther's 50th anniversary. Ah, that's right. Yeah. Listen, when, when Shuri, um, pops off again in the next Black Panther uh, movie. These are the kind of books people will be be hunting down. At number 11, we have Star Wars Purge, the one shot from Adam Hughes. Uh, this is a cool book. So, you know, you've got Adam Hughes's art, his famous signature right there on the bottom. And it, it's just a, a tale of, of, you know, Darth Vader during the, the purge. I, I think it, this is pretty cheap. You can still find it, but it's one of those books that, you know, uh, if they decide to do something like in a flashback or anything, this could be, uh, this this book could go up. Yeah, I mean, th this really highlights uh, Order 66, if I'm not mistaken, which has become, um, you know, some something legendary within Star Wars lore. And, uh, and this book looks into it, so. And for the reason why you're all here, our top 10. At number 10, we have Inhumans number one. And it's actually a user submission uh, from Pat Leck on Instagram. What Patrick was saying was that this is, a, uh, this is the first appearance of Inferno. So it's a young character spec for the, when the Inhumans get into the MCU. Uh, was hot a while ago, probably during the, when the Inhuman series was first showing up on ABC, pick up books while they're on the dip. Keep your eye open for the, the second print of this one, too. Um, harder to find um, and, and an even better upside, potentially. Now, the, the second print, the blue, uh, is it, such a better, better cover than the, the red. It, it it really, really pops. That's the way to go is the second print. Well, thank you for your submission, Pat Lack or Patrick. Uh, for anyone else, please 
please submit uh, your submissions to us. Be glad to vote on your books. See you highlighted on the spec 10. For our number nine book, we have Marvel Knights Wave 2, the Wizard promo. All of us Yelena Biloba fans have really loved. Um, that's her and the blonde hair on the cover. Um, so this isn't a comic. This is more uh, along the lines of uh, of a preview. Um, these were available um, in uh, Wizard Magazine, but these are really thin, and um, they highlight sort of the next wave of Marvel Knights. And there is a couple of pages inside on Yelena Belova. So she's on the cover, and she's inside. So this is really her first appearance. I know there's debate and all that sort of thing, but this is the first time we see her um, wow. in, in any sort of print media. And these books aren't expensive. You can find these for five or ten dollars. You know, by every objective measure, Florence Pugh um, has absolutely knocked it out of the park with this character. And I think we're going to see her in the MCU for the next decade or more. Um, so this might be one to grab. And these are tough as hell in yeah. high grade because they're uh, so so damn thin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's two nine eights on the census, so wow. Um, I I think these books can pick up a lot of steam, and I grab them if you're out there. If you see them, um, they're they're not expensive books, and I think they've got some good upside. For our number eight book, we have New X number one eighteen. So this is the first appearance of the uh, Stefford Cuckoos. So you may be asking, who are the Stefford Cuckoos? Well, they're actually are clones of Emma Frost. You know, you may have seen them in the the show The Gifted, you know, with new X-Men characters that are going to start showing up in the MCU. This could be definitely some characters that we see show up. We've seen Fox characters already, like, transferring into the MCU in Disney Plus shows. At our number seven book, we have Ghost Rider number 28 from 1992. All right. So this book has been on the radar for speculators for a long time. Uh, it's the first appearance of Midnight Suns. Some say it's a cameo appearance. The Midnight Suns were Ghost Rider, Johnny Blaze, Morbius Blade, Hannibal King, Frank Drake, uh, amongst many others. We also, in this, we get the first appearance of Lilith and the first appearance of, uh, of Meat Market, which is uh, the offspring of Lilith. You know, this book has sort of steadily uh, picked up speed over the years uh, in price, but um, it could have a lot more upside. These books, if you hunt, you can still find them uh, for cover price or less in back issue bins. And uh, and th these make a lot of sense to pick up. They are originally bagged and came with a poster. Um, um, but it doesn't really matter if it's bagged or unbagged when you find it. As always, the books in this era, if you can find it in newsstand, grab it. They are much harder to come by at this point in sort of um, in, in the 90s explosion in comics. For our number six book, we have She-Hulk number one, volume three. Yeah, this is a book that you can find just for right around cover, maybe a little bit more. Um, but I think this book is going to... Um, to really take off next year when the She-Hulk TV show hits. Everything that we've heard, um, it's gonna uh, that show is gonna draw heavily from this run, and, uh, and it all started here. So um, relatively cheap spec that you can grab that has potentially good upside. So uh, if you see them, pick them up. Uh, there's also, real quick, there, there, there's a second and third print of these, uh, of this. The, the second print is in blue, and the third print is in green. Um, the third print, in my opinion, and I think we've talked about it on the show before, maybe the most desirable. The green just really looks good with the whole She-Hulk um, idea, but uh, but those are out there. So if you see them, by all means, grab them. Those are super short printed. At number five, we have The Incredible Hercules, number 133. So this is a cool book, and it's uh, I, the origin of Amadeus Cho. And Amadeus Cho, is is he's on the horizon. And if you're not picking up early books of this character, you're missing out. You know, that his uh, first book is what? Amazing Fantasy uh, 15, 15 volume, volume two, two. two, right? So, like, that's kind of uh, like up in the stratosphere right now. But, I mean, this is one of the books that I would say would be uh, an affordable uh, key. His mom was already uh, introduced into the MCU in, in Age of Ultron. If you think that he's not in the plans, uh, you know, then you're thinking, well, why in the hell would they introduce his mom? Because he is going to be a part of the MCU and he's such a great character. 
It's a smart, smart kid. He's outsmarts uh, Reed Richards. They always have, uh, if I'm not mistaken, kind of uh, like chess match uh, mind games going on. So is, this is a a, a cool low uh, low hanging fruit. Yeah, um, you know, there's some speculation that he could show up um, in the She-Hulk show. Just speculation, but that seems reasonable. Uh, just be aware that there are two covers to this book. Um, this is Amadeus Cho on this cover. Um, the cover B has Hercules on it. Yeah. So so be on the lookout for, for the cover A. For our number four book, we have Canto number one, the third print. Uh, this is from the 1284 Comics. Uh, thank you for your submission. All right. So Canto, um, as we know, it's been optioned uh, for an animated series. This third print um, um, is desirable because, uh, you know, it had a print run somewhere in the neighborhood around 3,000, which is about half um, of the first print, which was still small at around 6,000. Um, anybody who's familiar with, with the first um, print, it had was notorious for printer issues. Um, they clean that up here in the second and the, the third print uh, with new cover art. And uh, this will certainly be a sought after book um, uh, when this show hits. Um, people absolutely love the story. And, um, you know, the, ups, the upside seems quite substantial. Um, be aware there's also a very cool second print um, with very different art out there that's also short printed and um, um, would be attractive to, to, to grab it if you, if you see it. So uh, a really good pick, Matt. Thank you for this. Um, and uh, yeah, a lot of potential in this book. For our number three book, we have Star Wars number 81. Just a, a classic, classic cover. It's, it's one of my my favorite covers from the from the Marvel Star Wars run, the early run. But uh, in the guts of this book is uh, the Bubba Fett escape in the Sarlacc pit. And uh, there's an early rumor that in Book of Bubba Fett, it's going to show you how he escaped. It, it's always been a part of Star Wars lore. And, you know, when when I was a kid, I was so pissed that they, they killed off Bubba Fett, you know, and... Uh, this has been kind of a, a, a dream that, that they've brought him back. And it, it was such a cool uh, scene to see him take uh, the throne and, and just uh, wax uh, Bid Fortuna. And he's uh, it was so cool to see him uh, off Bid Fortuna. But this could be a monster. Books that always show kind of origin, would you say, of his escape. That was kind of always speculated uh, with me and my friends. And man, I wonder if he is. Well, this book tells you how he got out. Origin of his scars and burns. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, scars and burns. Yeah, there you go. For our number two book, we have Gwenpool number one. Well, it always warms my heart to see Gwenpool when she makes the list. All right. So this is this is her uh, her first issue. By no means her first appearance, but her first, the start of her solo run. Um, you know, th this book is very much um, a cover price buy for most people right now. And I liken it very similarly to um kate bishop's hawkeye run which was in the same camp a year ago or less and, and now going for forty dollars um um or more um you know, maybe that, that's going to settle down naturally but but it's sort of that 25 to 40 dollar range um I, I i expect this book to have a similar pop at some point in the future uh i'm not speculating on gwenpool showing up in the mcu anytime soon but um anybody who's read the series knows how good it is uh, and what a cool character she is. Marvel's trying to figure out what they're going to do with this character. Um, but um, while it's quiet, it makes sense to be grabbing these when you see them out there because they are out there for, for $5. So it seems like a really smart buy, uh, given where the market is right now. And for our number one book, Mighty Mail V would be proud of us, Moon Girl number 47. All right. So, uh, yeah, this is not Mel's pick, but this is inspired by Mel for sure. Um, we all say it, but nobody was sort of on Moon Girl before Mel. So um, Mel, this one's for you. Um, this is uh, her final issue, um, the final issue of Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur, issue number 47. I was at, at, at an LCS uh, a few weeks back and I saw this and I'm like, it's weird to end at 47. You think they would have taken it all the way to 50 or, but, 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 they, but they stopped it here. Um, you know, final issues are attractive when, 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 when books are winding down because people don't order a lot. There are only five, just over 5,000 copies of this book ordered. Um, 
which means that there's not many of them out there. Um, if you look at what um, America Chavez uh, issue number 12 did, um, when people realized that there were about 6,000 of those, uh, the book popped. Uh, this is a cover price buy, um, but a book that, um, uh, that we believe has really substantial upside in the future. Um, um, like I said, they're sitting there in the, in the back issue bins, but once these disappear, you're not going to be able to find them. Um, it, we've seen it, we've seen it a, a hundred times and, uh, and this book is no different. So, um, be on the lookout when you're out there digging. Um, this is a great cover pickup. Well, I want to thank uh, Matt and Patrick for their uh, user submissions. So make sure to hit up any of us on the panel. If you have one uh, a book in mind that you'd like us to vote on, uh, we'll be glad to vote on it. Thanks for joining us for the Prospect 10. Have a great day. Spec alert, spec alert.